Hey, what is up guys? Robin here from Arbin Hardware. In today's video, we're going to discuss the recent desktop-based AMD Ryzen 5000 series leaks and rumors. Now, in case you're getting value from any of the videos on this channel, can you please hit the like button? That would help the videos getting out to more people. Anyway, here is an image leaked by 9550 Pro showing the upcoming Ryzen 9 5900X, a 12-core and 24-thread processor beating the previous 12-core 30 900x processor by 25% and in today's video we're going to discuss everything worth knowing about this new processor such as specifications, price, performance and release date. So the benchmark leak comes from CPU Z and it's showing a 12 core and 24 thread AMD CPU running the single and multi threaded test. Now the tested processor has a very weird name as we can see but because the chip seems to feature a 12 core configuration we're pretty sure that the this has to be the upcoming AMD Ryzen 9 5900X set to replace the existing Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. Now, as we can see from this leaked screenshot, there is not a whole lot of details here. So in terms of clock speed, platform and memory configurations and even cooling solution, all of that is missing here. But based on recent leaks and rumors, we think that the upcoming 5900X will have a boost clock that can reach a whopping 5 GHz, which is just insane and it shows how far AMD has been able to push this architecture. Now looking at the performance guys we can see that the upcoming 5900X is scoring 652 points in single core and this is 27% faster than the Ryzen 7 3700X and that makes it 25% faster than the Ryzen 9 3900X. But again guys keep in mind until we've seen clock speeds, memory configuration, platform as well as cooling solution, we should treat this with a grain of salt. Looking at the multi-performance test, the upcoming Ryzen 9 5900X scored a total of 9481 points, which is a massive 75% improvement over the 3700X, and it turns out that that's 15% better than the 3900X as well. However, something worth having in mind here is that the 3900X only has a boost clock of 4.6 which is a number that the 3900X is rarely able to reach. So my point is, you can't really look at these numbers and say, oh, that's a 15% IPC or instructions per clock increase. We gonna have to wait a bit longer till we see some real numbers with real product names. But the leak gives us a clear indication where Zen 3 and Ryzen 5000 stand in terms of performance in comparison to Ryzen 3000 based on Zen 2. Apart from the 5900, 4 other models have also been discovered and so far this is what the lineup looks like. As for core count, it seems that Zen 3 stays on 16 cores for the top CPU. So essentially the same as Zen 2. Now as for release, the AMD Ryzen 5000 series lineup is officially set to be unveiled on the 8th of October and so that's just a couple of days. And we expect the retail launch around the end of October. Now as for pricing, now we think AMD will keep a similar similar pricing as 30 on Ryzen, but that could obviously change. Now in case you're interested, I have a video linked up down below that goes over the 5800X in much greater detail. So what do you think about Zen 3 and desktop Ryzen 5000? Which model are you looking forward to? Let us know down below. 